Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Strategic Mind Blitzkrieg. We're here after the Battle of Britain, so we're at Operation Sea Lion. Let's uh, spend those victory points first. So, let's see. Could go for engineering. Mm. Like, we're going to do a naval operation once again, so... Embarkation could be pretty useful if I combine both of these. So embarkation together with allied infrastructure. Could do that. Blitzkrieg not super necessary. Military Air Force training. Yeah. Let's actually go for engineering because once we land we're gonna need supply pretty fast and then we'll also do logistics so that embarkation costs less mm, that will mean that you know deploying or putting my my troops in transports will only cost one instead of three uh, which will then also be pretty useful I think all right so let's let's do that then prestige uh, let's see. First of all, I'm going to take care of the overstrength everywhere as much as possible. And then I'll take care of equipment, etc. Alright, 11, 10, 10, you can go to 13, 12, and alright, let's take a look at heroes. We probably cannot deploy any, no, we can't, at least we, we don't have, conservative anti tank we don't have any anti-tanks yet. You have done very, very little damage to tanks. Conserve in infantry. You can serve in a fighter, so they need 100 damage. 57, huh? All right, fine. Anyway, let's take a look at the upgrades. Potentially, their Panzer F can go to Panzer 3G. Then the recon can. Get the 232 instead of 231. That gives it more spotting, more air defense. And that's pretty much about it. I'm going to take these guys. Let's take a look at the equipment. Because I actually don't need drop tanks anymore. Um, but I guess they can go for radar or armor piercing. Let's go for radar. That costs 20, but that's okay. You guys need torpedoes, which are cheaper. And these guys don't need drop tanks either anymore. Uh, because aircraft radar... Yeah, also removes half of the night and penalty attack. Um, so that, that's pretty good. Mm, you would almost say they can then also get drop tanks, but I'm not gonna do that. Pioneers, I need to. They need to not have ground transport at the start because otherwise they're gonna lose their ability to. Um, basically, just uh, do the the naval landing. Uh, let's see what is this. Gets close to our that close quarters. No thanks. Anti tank. 28 millimeter Panzerbusche. Okay. Mm. So gun range becomes three. And it's kind of like an artillery. Only one equipment of this type can be activated simultaneously. 
Number of views this can be restored in the servant zone. Okay. Well, I don't think I need artillery, or, or I don't think. They uh, they need mine uh, clearing stuff, so this is fine. We have four artillery at the moment. Our artillery should have trucks, obviously. That's looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Sure. This is fine. I'm going to deploy these uh, anyway, so let's just see what they get to do. So they have enough in terms of fuel and such. Let's start with Vickers. And then... Look, I, I actually think this can be pretty useful. So let's give these guys some Wolf Roman. And South Tech Air Defense. I don't really care for that. But I also have uh, you guys. So these have 12, 7. And these guys have 6, 9, I guess now. I'm not going to get a second Roof Roman. I don't think we need that. But uh, smoke grenade is not needed. Uh, I guess sapper squad could be meaningful in, in a way. And I guess on scout squad. Uh, it's not amazing, but at least it does increase the spawning range. So that that's okay. You have some Vickers machine guns too. You're fine. Mm, and you're good too. Okay, so we have 675. Let's purchase... I actually want a second recon, I think. 180. That's pretty cheap. I think it will be useful to get a second one. And then maybe also another artillery. If I have the points for it. Uh, I guess I do. And then, yeah, we have five artillery now. That's okay. Artillery is very important. Some infantry. Five fighters. One, two, three, four, five tanks. Yeah, I guess that would be good enough. All right, let's listen to what these guys have to say. The British islands make a land invasion difficult. Thankfully, they are equally difficult for defensive maneuvers. I'd say... The size of the British Navy is compensating for something. Reaching their naval defense will be difficult and our naval forces will play a main role. I can safely say one thing. Without a way to carry our ground forces over the English Channel, this invasion is doomed. Yeah, obviously. Bismarck is a true miracle of military science. A couple more of these ships and the British naval supremacy will be over. This Colossus can deal massive damage to both naval and land hostile targets. Without escort, however, a battleship is certainly vulnerable to enemy aircraft and submarines. Sure. The British have shown themselves to be a serious threat. Their tanks are slow, but carry thick armor and precise hard-hitting weapons. Their crews are also very well trained. Fighting them on their home territory will challenge not only my skills as a commander, but our entire tank doctrine. It is now a dispute between two opposing tank warfare philosophies. I don't take it too personal, Guderian. This will prove the toughest operation to date. A good test of our true capacities as a military. If we rush the ground invasion too much, we'll fall under the British Navy's fire. Yet, if we take too long, the British will set up shoreside fortifications. At that point, we're in for an opposed landing. Besides, a victory over the Brits by our naval forces is not a guarantee. The paratroopers could become our trump card, but we can't deploy them before the British flak batteries are subdued. Yeah, and that's why I have the uh, flak bombing, or the uh, strategic bombing as well, at this point. Actually, what level of strategic bombing do I have? It's probably the lowest level. I can actually... I think I can get it higher. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Let's see where it is. Yeah, here, airstrike is reduced by quite a few points. Okay. Let's get started. Operation Sea Lion. So far, due to the successful actions of the Luftwaffe under the impeccable command of Reichsmarschall Goering, Britain has suffered a devastating blow. Now we only have to finish it off. Very soon, the British Empire will finally cease to exist. I cannot agree with you, Herr Führer. In my opinion, even the total occupation of the island of Great Britain will not undermine the military power of the British Empire spread around the whole globe. So what do you suggest, Halda? To call off the operation, fearing the might of our enemy? Yes, it is the only serious opponent in Western Europe left undefeated. Yet its defeat is imminent. The Wehrmacht is an indomitable force, which knows no fear and no mercy. Manstein, I order you to develop and implement the landing operation plan. What can you suggest in terms of tactics? I think our troops should cross the English Channel and land both to the north and south of London to encircle the enemy troops in and around it. I like your ideas. Dönitz, I order you to help with the Operation Sea Lion planning. At once, Herr Führer. It will be a combined effort of mine as well as General Munstein. The landing of our troops and the Navy's actions will be synchronized. Halda, I order you to find a way to undermine the British military might, if it bothers you so much. I suggest you work hard. Have no doubt. I will find a solution. Yep. <laughs> I'm sure. Just beating the enemy is a good tactic. Gentlemen, had someone told me a year ago that the Wehrmacht would soon be conducting a land invasion of Britain, I would call him mad. Today, however, we're beginning that very operation, and our chances of success have never been higher. General Munstein, what is your assessment of our combat readiness? I've trained my soldiers personally, and they are as ready as they can be. Perfect. In that case, let us begin the debriefing. All forces must cross the English Channel and land on the British coast. They will then take the southeastern part of the island and secure a foothold to the north of London. For all that to happen, we'll need to capture London as well as the following cities. Chelmsford, Luton, Milton Keynes, Oxford, Reading, Swindon, Gloucester, Bristol, and Hereford. Beating the British Army is not the hard part. Crossing the English Channel might be. The enemy could just sink our transports before any of our troops even set foot on British soil. Indeed, the Royal Navy remains a major threat to our land and operation. However, I'm sure our air supremacy can be of some help in that regard. Wouldn't you agree, Reichsmarschall Goering? Of course. The Luftwaffe controls the skies over the English Channel. Say the word and they'll give the Brits such a beating they'll forget what drink to take come five o'clock. Don't forget our superb naval forces. Our newest battleship Bismarck is fresh out of the shipyard after its launch, and she is the mightiest vessel to ever sail the Atlantic. Even the Royal Navy has nothing to match her firepower. The British admirals are about to be seriously humbled. Still, proper caution is in order, and we shouldn't take risks with such a mighty ship this early into the war. Absolutely. We will need the Bismarck afloat for the many battles to come. That said, gentlemen, I believe this meeting is now finished. It is time to commence Operation Sea Lion. Indeed, let us commence. Um, so, for this mission, I want to get my troops across as fast as possible. And I think the way to do that is to probably, like, focus on one side of the map like if i deploy forces here and here and here and here and here then basically anywhere where there might be enemy navy i will run into the trouble of you know not being able to do that but if i can get superiority over one area 
and I can get my troops safely across and they can already start working. But I think, if I remember the last time correctly, most of the major naval battles were around this area. Uh, so this. And there were less forces in the lower area, like in the center and around here. So I think I want to make the naval landing from this place and from this place for the most part. And I guess then land around this area over here so that my troops will get across quickly. Um, I do need the infantry to spearhead that. So the infantry needs to go first in order to hopefully secure the harbors for the rest of my forces. Both of these need a recon. As well. If I put units here, they have to go that way. There are some units in the north as well, but they kind of have to wait until... You know... Uh, things have cleared. Uh, so, so let's just deploy as many force here as possible. Artillery is also very important. But I cannot move first turn anyway immediately, so... Uh, it's a F two, three fighters over... Hey. Three fighters here. And currently I have one bomber, one JU-88. Let's do it like that. JU-52, 52, so those are paratroopers. Let's get started. We have 13 turns, so that's relatively little. Uh, so we're just going to have to do a, a couple of reconnaissance. Uh, okay, so they have naval units here, one unit here. Um, Okay. I also need to check the center. Yeah, so they have stuff there. And even there. Let's check the last one over here. There's nothing. Uh, so let's start on this side. They have a range of five. So if I can stay, you also have only range five, but I think you have range six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and they can Yeah, this is this is good. So, tag them twice. Use the secondary gun to tag that. Then, oh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So then I can use the main guns with these while these fire with their secondary guns first. Meaning, again, I will take little damage or 
Oh, right, they're gonna use, they can only use their main gun. No, I should have gotten a bit closer. I messed it up. Okay, that was dumb already. First mistake. Great. We're not even two turns in. Or two movements in. Uh, alright, alright. <laughs> uh, that's That sucks. I don't know why. There's There seems to be a lot of lag or whatever involving these units. Um... That's a bit weird. I still think that these are ridiculously overpowered for no reason. But okay. Uh, is this the fighter? 1-5. Yes, it is. Do they have bombs? No. What kind of damage is it gonna do? It's gonna take out the secondary gun? Oh, they... Uh, I see. Okay. Well... Doesn't really matter what I target. What I do know is that the thing is now dead in the water. Let's go for all weather. I mean, hello merit is nice, but all weather is better overall. So let's do that. At least ignores the rain weather penalty. Only the hull is left now, so it should be pretty easy pickings at that point. Um, and nothing can defeat the destroyer anyway, so there's no need to try in a way. Like, <laughs> nope. All right. Um, that still takes care of that heavy ship though so that is nice at least let's get our best fighter with boom and zoom eh, I'm gonna use the afterburner though I'll just jam all my fighters in there so the enemy will always have a tough all on them. And they're all gonna use Afterburner 2 for extra defense. It'll be pretty useful. No need to send out these, actually. Let's get them back. I do still have this destroyer as well, which I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send it here. But then not engage the enemy. So and then I need to finish off these two. Well, is there anything they can do though? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, they don't even get close. All right, but taking the, down those two will be easy enough. So, one, two, three, four. Ideal location. Then use the secondary guns on them. So they won't attack anymore. And these guys are going to use their 
secondary guns now for sure. Uh, do I need armor piercing shells? I don't think so. Especially since I can, uh, I mean, business against these guys. And they have a range of five, so if I attack with the unit with the range six now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, how is their main gun doing? Too good. One, two, three, four. I'll just take them down from a distance. And one, two, three, four. That's, yeah. Okay. That's that. So then, I'll put a destroyer on this side, hopefully to draw gunfire. This thing has a range 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we shouldn't even get shot here. So it looks like. So then for these, it's seven and six. This is 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have 15 points. Let's wait for a sec. So. Let's send all of these over here. Where they will be unlikely to be spotted. I think. Over here these guys going down I think they can do that too but not you so let's send them out on their merry way and one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, they do have the destroyer, so I have to. Be careful, though. I suppose. That's all I can send for now, at least on this side. I 
and then rather finish all my points now get them out to see and then leave it at that I think that's it except for them No, it cannot be activated for this turn, but that's okay. Let's see what happens. Uh huh. Okay. That should. I'm surprised why they didn't get Overwatch earlier. Oh, they only have. Ranger 2, of course. Right. Yeah. Well, that's going to zero then. <laughs> that's convenient. Another plane, Overwatch. That plane doesn't do a whole lot, but they might actually. didn't take it down. That's better for my prestige, though. I don't think you can die from Shell Hole. You'll just stay at one, I think. Why is there no Overwatch? Hmm. My agents brought in a curious report about the Ipswich airfield. The Royal Air Force have been testing a cutting-edge fighter plane there called Spitfire Mark V. Apparently, the prototype is still at the airfield. You're suggesting we capture the enemy's secret fighter plane? Why, that's a wonderful idea. Let's see what the British engineers have come up with. Despite the heavy blow we have dealt to the British Air Force, they still pose a real threat to our ground troops. In particular, because they still have a number of very experienced bomber pilots. The most famous one is Guy Gibson. He has many combat awards, including some of the most prestigious ones. I see where you're going. Suppose we strike another blow to the Brits' morale? Exactly. By proving one more time that their heroes are not immortal beings, we will crush their will to fight. At the same time, it would make our homeland a safer place. This Gibson guy participated in an air raid on Berlin. Married on Berlin, huh? That's terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care. And see you all next time. Bye-bye.